<clears throat> so, uh, my name is Jimmy Vaughn from CY Cabinet Painters. I'm going to be using Envirolac 170 TB. catalyzed in this kitchen. That's the original. Now, when I spray on site, I kind of eyeball and uh, put into other containers. Um, these two Malaysia cans were clean, cleaned out, and I just uh, kind of, you know, measured out what I thought I'd need to do the kitchen. And then, like, some emergency use and so just on top, I write down um, what I need uh, for uh, catalyst. And so this happens to be five liters. I'm gonna use, catalyze it at 5%, which is 250 grams or milliliters. Um, before I start measuring, I zero out my scale. This is just a simple kitchen liquid measuring device. Um, and what I do is I kind of center it out I know I'm gonna need uh, 250 milliliters, like I said. So I open it up a little bit more. Uh, <clears throat> that's open to like 325. Level out the scale. I'm gonna put my mask on. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, measure out the catalyst and mix it for five minutes. as well. Like I said, I got five liters, and for five liters, you need 250 milliliters to be catalyzed at about this uh, kitchen gadget is that you can really get just about every last drop, every last drop of your catalyst out of, you know, your mixing container. And so I'm just going to mechanically stir it in real slow. You can see how slow I'm going here. You put it in too fast, what can happen is you shock the paint and it gets real, real clumpy.
So you get to the bottom here, you know, and this is where that kitchen goes, it really comes in handy. Because now you can kind of push out the rest. And as it comes out, you know, you can see how much we had left in there. Then I just use this spatula. I don't know if you can see how much is left at the bottom here. I just kind of roll that off into the paint. Just a little bit left. Open this back up in case I have to use it again. Wipe off the lip. Yeah. I'll bring it back to the shop for cleaning. And so now it's a five minute mix. You've already added the catalyst. You're going to set your timer. My little watch is. Uh, already set up to do this five minutes recent because I'm always timing five minutes so I'm just going to set the timer for five and mix it up I'm going to stop the recording and start it back up when I'm done Just going to be loading up the machine and uh, spring, which is another video. So stay tuned for that one.